Hey, what's up, guys? We are at Top 5 Mystic Champions in MCOC, and this is the last class I've done. Um, I'm really tired because I've recorded all these back to back to back to back to back to back. Um, you've probably seen them once a day if you've seen all of them, but I recorded all of them, and this is a long process. It's already been like an hour and a half, two hours, so I'm a little bit tired, but keep this in mind. It's just a fucking tier list. It's an opinion, so do not get your fucking titties in a twist. Um, if my list isn't the same as yours, but just an opinion. If you have a different opinion, it's fine. Write it in the comments. I'll read it. I like to see what you guys think, um, what your guys' list is. It's interesting. So yeah, just write it down in the comments below, and let's get into this. Some honorable mentions really quickly. Dr. Voodoo, Morningstar, Symbio Supreme. Yes, surprise, and Symbio Supreme is not in the top five this time, especially since he was the number one mystic a while ago. Um... What else we got here? Um, long shot, Mojo, Sasquatch, honorable mentions, Tigra. Yeah, so number five, and I will say I don't have many experience with two of the five people on this list, but from gameplay I've seen, um, yeah, I'm just putting them on the list. Number five, we have Dragon Man. So I don't know that much about this guy, but what I do know is this. He's a mystic character with pretty high damage and he's double immune so already that's like enough to put him in the top five he's fully immune to bleed poison and armor shatter which is kind of interesting but basically um you do gain power over time which is pretty nice um so um it's very nice and what makes this guy fun for me at least is the fact that he's a mystic who you can just go balls to those walls with. Basically, what you want to do with this character is you want to push them to the edge and corner them, quote unquote. Um, corner. And while you corner them, um, each hit you do deals an extra like chunk of damage, like energy damage, physical damage, whatever they want to call it. And and it's um, increased for each ineptitude or unique buff on the opponent. So you do more damage. So if they have a lot of buffs and they're against the wall, you're just doing a lot of damage next to them. And also, their defensive combat power rate, which is like when you hit them, is reduced by 70% while they're above two bars of power. So you can go balls deep against them against the wall, and if they have above two bars of power, they're barely gaining any power when you're hitting them. So you're hitting them pretty hard. You do have extra physical damage and like red numbers coming from your hits. And he just hits very hard. So basically, um, on, when you knock them down, you gain an unblockable for three seconds. So what you can do is you can knock them down, and right when you do that, you can... Uh, um, Launch special two, which is a very strong incinerate, and since they're against the wall, they're taking even more damage. And it's just very fun, honestly. He's just a fun character who's mystic, double immune, so he's very good for suicides and shit. Put him against the wall, doing a shit ton of damage. They're not gaining a lot of power, and it's just fun. It's just a fun character. I don't really have him, but he seems really fun, which a lot of mystic characters lack, honestly. Like if you fucking look at the mystic class, look at this Loki hood, Iron Fist. There's a lot of duds in this class. This is the class of duds and a few stars, basically. So Dragon Man's mine number four. Or five, I mean. For number four, where is she? I don't have her as a, as a five star, but Magic. She's a very old character, but she's very basic. And all you gotta know about her is throw special twos. Every time you throw a special two, it takes away a bar of power and they're power locked. And then you build up to another special two and you drain the power until they're at zero power and you just keep doing this against the wall you just intercept you special two again them against the wall they fall you intercept them while they're standing up keep hitting them backtrack intercept backtrack intercept backtrack intercept another special two and you can basically keep them permanently power locked against the wall and basically just shut down the fight if they can't get power most fights are pretty much just shut down in the game um she can nullify a buff with a special one, only one buff, but it's probably not the best use of her time. Um, it is a 85% chance to power lock the opponent with a special two, but you have to remember there's two hits to the special two, so what this means, it's an 85% chance on both hits. So to get the 15% chance unlucky not getting the power lock two times in a row, it's very rare, it almost never happens. So most of the time, your special two will target um, power lock them, and it has a hundred percent chance to power steal, taking thirty three percent of their power as your own. So you can always cycle special twos while they're power lock. How long is the power lock actually? 
uh, for nine seconds. But these nine seconds are long enough with the power you get back to um, always throw special twos in the corner. They'll just be at zero power the whole fight, and you basically just shut it down. And she's a very old character, which is helpful for like variant gems that are like 2015 rank up gems, 2016, whatever um, year she is. Um, pretty easy, and she's super old, so a lot of people have her, except for me, of course. Um, so that's it. And number three, a character one second that I don't know a lot about, but I know enough to. And a lot of people are saying she's one of the best. So number three, um, number three is Sorcerer Supreme. Um, she's really good. Um, she has three phases: her damage phase, her heal phase, and her slow phase. I think. But basically, the way she worked is once you get her heal phase and slow phase up, basically on every special you throw. Um, you're gonna put a slow on them so she can fully counter evade and unstoppable which is really helpful and it's also really good for a mystic to have since pretty much no mystic has that utility I'm pretty sure so she just can shut down fights pretty easily and also with her healing ability um, she has she heals 85% I think of the health taken into her block like if you were to take a hundred damage into your block she'll heal 85% of it back up plus the mastery that like uh, makes your some mastery. What is the mastery called? Let me see. Um, where is it? Is it this thing? Oh yeah. So recovery. It makes any uh, regeneration you get fifteen percent stronger. So it's like a ninety percent regen basically that she has uh, around there. I'd assume. And where is she? Okay. So every parry you get like about ninety percent of your health back, and she has like a small regeneration over time. So, if you ever watch gameplay of her, she's pretty much always at 100% power, full yellow bar. She takes, like, what, like, 5k damage into her block. She'll heal, like, 4,900 of it back. So, it's, like, it's so good for saying topped up. It's just so good. It's so strong. Plus, the fact that she can always put slows on them. And with her armor phase, um, or her damage phase, um, she puts armor breaks on them that are actually very strong. Very strong armor breaks, and she hits, like, a fucking truck, honestly, when you have those up. So she's just a really cool character. Also, her um, her prestige is really good, so she's up there. So that's Sorcerer Supreme, really cool character. She is kind of confusing to play. It um, takes a little bit to get used to her, but once you do, it's pretty cool. I'm putting her at number three because I use Suicides, so spamming specials isn't too fun, but I'm just saying overall, she's probably the third best Mystic. And then two and one, just the gods of the game. Clairvoyant, Black Widow, uh, Clairvoyant. She is so good, dude. She is like the suicide, like just so good with suicides, which I love since I use suicides. She has three phases, her bleed, poison, and incinerate phase. In her bleed phase, she's fully immune to bleed, and she can put bleeds on the opponents, and her special two will heal for how much damage it does. It will heal her a percentage of the damage back. So if you're in that phase, you're like 10% health, you throw a special two, and you get some good crits on it. Um, you can heal like a fat chunk of your health back. The poison phase... Um, you're immune to poison, and you um, can put poisons on the enemy. Um, when you throw a special two, it'll power drain them. It'll like take steal a lot of their powers. You can just like versus Hyperion, you can just spam special twos and just get a shit ton of power back. And then her incinerate phase, she's immune to incinerate. She can put incinerates on the enemies, and for every hit, the special two it does a burst of energy damage, so it just hit pretty hard. And what you want to do for this character is she's good for fights where like you're versing the immunity like if you're versing an incinerate immune character okay you want to be in the incinerate phase um just for if it's like a sunspot for example because when you're in that phase when you put incinerates on the opponent if you put a debuff of the phase that you're in on the opponent and they're immune to it you get like a fat chunk of power back so you will you could heavy attack with clairvoyant and it'll put three of whatever debuff phase she's in you're in the incinerate phase you heavy attack Puts three incinerates on them, oh, but at some spot, he's immune to them. So you get three chunks of power back. So it's really easy to build up to special twos. Like if you're versing like a Colossus, you can um, throw heavies and just get a shit ton of um, bleeds on him, but he's immune. So you get power really quickly, you to heal. And on her special two, I forgot to mention, no matter what phase she's in, it'll put a, how long is it? It's a, it's a buff immunity. Where is it? Where's the special two? A hundred percent chance to inflict the opponent with buff immunity for ten seconds, um, decreasing to fifty-eight percent against science champs. But most of the time, you're not gonna be big in her against science champions, so it's not a big deal. 
Um, but basically what that means is they can't gain any buffs during this time. So it's very easy to keep the opponent always buff locked where they can't gain any buffs. And it's not a debuff because it's a buff. It's buff immunity. So characters that like Ancient Venom, I don't think are going to be shugging it off because it's not really marked as a debuff. So it is very helpful. So overall, she's a very confusing character, I'd say. Um, but it is very nice to have. Um, the final, uh, okay, so it, she's just a very good character with a lot of utility. A lot of util, you know, power drain, three immunities, healing, damage. She's just, she got it all. And then, yeah, the final character, as you guessed, I mean, I have him as a maxed out five star and six star. Dr. Doom. This guy is a beast. If you run suicides, you'd probably prefer Clairvoyant to Doom. Um, because she's so good with suicides. But Doom is pretty bad with suicides. But he's, I run suicides, but. He's still the best mystic in the game overall. And the reason I say that is his power control is so strong that I think Seton worded it best. I forgot how he worded it, but it's like, you're not getting controlled by the fight. You control the fight. Like You control everything that's going on. Like You control the opponent when you use Doom. Like, like You don't have to worry about shit. You control the fight. You control how the fight works with this power game. Power drain, power control, all that shit. It's a little bit confusing, but once you get used to it, it's um just so good. Um, it's a weird combo to get used to. I'm not going to explain it. You can watch a video on it. Basically, this guy, he can nullify buffs. He basically just laughs at them. They never get to a special three when you verse him. He does crazy damage. You throw a special three. Um, you just get this massive fury. You can stack it up twice. Um, to put it in perspective how strong this fury is, when you get two furies on this guy and you have the class advantage, I, use, I threw my heavy attack. And it crit for 50,000 damage at 6 star rank 3, no boost, just one heavy attack. Slap to the face, 50,000 crit. So he hits very hard. His special 2 puts hits extremely hard, and it puts in 3 incinerates on the opponent that just melt their opponent's health pool. Um, he is immune to armor break, armor shatter, and shock. So he's not immune to too many debuffs, just kind of shock really, like the main damage one. But he also um, is passive as he uses a mix of electricity and sorcery in his light and medium attacks, causing him to deal energy damage instead of physical, which means he gets around characters like Korg. So that's very nice. Um, it also helps that he's one of the top prestigious characters in the game. I think number three as a six star. So yeah, he's just a very good character. His heavy attacks put staggers. Um, he, on both of his mediums, he puts a shock on the opponent, and if you're near them, you could just hold heavy, and it'll change the shock into a passive stun. So you, like, combo medium, light, 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 and then instead of the second medium, you just hold heavy mid-combo, and it'll just stun them, kind of like Wasp, and you'll just smack them across the face, and then the smack puts a stagger on them. So they pretty much just, like, can't gain buffs when you're playing him. Like, he just destroys anyone who gains buffs. His special one can nullify, like, three buffs, I think. He, he just is so good, and it also helps he's one of the horsemen in the Abyss. I used him for the Abyss, and he's just so good, dude. He, he, he's just so good. That's it. Like, if you don't run suicides, this guy is just, like, he's really good to have in your account. If you do, I don't I do run suicides, and you're going to be throwing a lot of special ones and special twos with him. But even with suicides, if you need to bring him into, like, a quest for, like, one, two, three fights, he'll work. But he's just not going to be, like, a lane clearer because he's not immune to poison or bleed, and he um, is throwing a lot of specials. But most fights, you only need one special three to get the fury, and the fight's over. Most fights, you don't need to get that second fury. It's kind of overkill. So, yeah, he's just crazy damage dealer. So, yeah, that's the, the top five list for Mystic characters in M2C. Um, what was it? It was... What was it again? It was Dragon Man number four... Uh, magic number, f I mean, Dragon Man number five, uh, Magic number four, Sorcerer Supreme number three, Clairvoyant number two, and Doctor Doom number one. So yeah, tell me what you guys think about that list. Um, disagree, agree, write in the comments what your list should be. Uh, let me know, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.